All right, this is a temporary setup with uh, not the controller that I'm ultimately going to use, but at least it gives variable speed. So, um, all right, what are we looking at here? The power source currently is uh, a cordless drill battery, which is, what? I think it's about half discharged. So, come on you, can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, it's still got some juice in it. So that that's one of those nominal 18 or nominal 20 if you're DeWalt. Uh, it's five little 18650 cells in a pack. And currently it's powering this, uh, which is just a PWM speed controller. And it has a forward reverse switch. Uh, if I turn it off, it stops. If I run it backwards, it spin up and reverse. Although obviously the free wheels don't, there's not a lot happening in reverse with this machine. And then also down here is the speed controller pot that uh, tells it whether it should go faster or slower. So this voltmeter is reading not the not the battery pack voltage, but the perceived voltage at the motor as it comes out of the chopper. And so I'm turning up the pot here and I'm going up to 12, 13. Pretty soon we'll get to full pack voltage. So the pack is still showing 17.9 volts. And so this is it, full speed with that pack. And that's how much noise the two chain drives make and the clickety click or the tinkle of the paws. I think it's acceptable. I wish it were a tiny bit quieter. Maybe I should have kept belts for the first stage, but really, this is not loud. I'm guessing no one's ever noticed how noisy those little paws are on account of usually there's an engine running. But uh, it's a nice little kind of musical, chimey little accompaniment. And if we look down, this other clamp meter, I'll see if I can turn the backlight on. This is reading, can you see that? Three point, three and a half amps, and that's hanging on the wire from the controller to the motor. So that's what the motor is drawing right now. And somehow I lost my, I bumped the wire and I've lost my voltage reading on the other one, but uh, we saw that it was 17 volts and uh, three and a half amps. What's three 17s? 21 and 30. 17, who multiplies? 21 and 30, that's 51. A little bit. Watts. Yeah. Yep. So it's only needing 50 watts to spin the wheels in the air. And if it's drawing three and a half amps, then that little drill battery could do this for the better part of half an hour at full charge because it's a it's like a two and a half or three amp hour battery. So all right. I was setting it up with lead batteries and I thought, well, this is faster and easier and there's one on the desk. So that's how much noise it makes tinkling along. Alright.